anti-Semitism was unacceptable in any form in our party or our society. I think it is a safe place for Jewish people, but if there are real concerns, we have to listen to them. We are the anti-racist party in this country. But for years for Labour, allegations of anti-Semitism have stained the party's reputation. Under the leadership of Jeremy Corbyn, candidates, councillors and members were found to be involved in harassment, using anti-Semitic tropes and dismissing complaints as fake or smears. The problem, it was alleged, went right to the top. Just before the 2019 election, nearly 9 in 10 British Jews said they believed that Jeremy Corbyn was anti-Semitic. They were angry and frightened. In one of the lowest moments for the opposition, Labour joined the BNP in becoming only the second political party ever to be investigated by the UK's human rights watchdog, the Equality and Human Rights Commission. In 2020, they found that Labour had breached the Equality Act three times, that there was unlawful harassment and discrimination during Jeremy Corbyn's four and a half years as leader. Labour under Keir Starmer was placed in special measures. Today, though, the party has turned a corner, with the Commission now finding that over the past two years, Labour has improved its standards and procedures. What we found was that there, were, it, there was interference from the office of the then leader of the Labour Party, and that's all documented in the report that we published in October 2020. Um, obviously, as, uh, as you know, the leadership of the Labour Party has changed since then. They've now changed their constitution. In fact, the National Executive Committee has changed the constitution. So wh whether in respect of the leadership or in the procedural issues that we were also concerned about, we have been monitoring the Labour Party's processes over the last couple of years, and, and we have now concluded that they've implemented the actions we required of them. This report is, of course, welcome news for Labour and Sir Keir Starmer, who spent an awful lot of time over the last three years trying to put considerable distance between himself and Jeremy Corbyn. And while the Board of Deputies of British Jews believe that things are now better, it does come with a note of caution that problems remain, or as they put it, that the job is not yet complete. As for Jeremy Corbyn, he remains suspended from the PLP, with Labour insistent he will not stand as their candidate at the next election. Keir Starmer will be hoping that this decision and today's report will turn the page on one of Labour's most toxic and difficult chapters. Deborah McCaffrey, GB News.